What's up, Fit Bunch? It's your main man, Mr. Trevor Bunch, the Fit Bunch, the amputee fitness coach, coming at you. Today, we're going to talk about desensitizing the end of your residual limbs. We're going to talk about what that means. We're going to talk about why you would even want to do it. We're going to talk about how to go about desensitizing the end of your legs. But first, before I go any further, I want you to talk to your doctor, physical therapist, surgeon, whoever's in charge of your amputation care right now. I want you to show them this video. Let them know that this is a process that you're interested in undertaking and let them give you the best professional medical advice for your own individual situation uh, to undertake this process. So that all being said, what the heck is desensitization? Desensitizing, as the name implies, we're reducing the sensitivity on the end of your residual limbs. Obviously, immediately after amputation, the surgical site, there's tissue damage, there's swelling, there's all sorts of things going on, and it's incredibly sensitive. If you're laying in bed and somebody bumps into the bed, you know it, all right? And that's no way to go through things, all right? Yes, there's going to be that at the beginning of the journey, but as you progress, you wanna get away from that. You wanna relieve some of that sensitivity. So desensitizing is the way to go. All right. Now, why on earth would you want to do it? Well, kind of just said that, but basically you want to relieve that sensitivity, you want to relieve that painful stimulus, that sensation, but so that you can reclaim your functionality, your independence, all right? Um, desensitizing also will work to relieve some phantom limb pain as well, all right? I'm not gonna say that it's going to cure it, it's not going to entirely get rid of it, but it can work to alleviate some of it. So how? Because Phantom limb pain, it is thought, is caused by the error signal that is sent from, say, the end of your residual limb up to your brain saying, hey, there's supposed to be a leg here, but there's not anymore. And that's why we feel those sensations, that stabbing in our foot, that, you know, that ice pick in the ankle, whatever that might be uh, for you. You know, it's because the brain is saying, hey, there's supposed to be a leg there, but there's not anymore. So we're just going to uh, let that signal be pain. All right, so that all being said, desensitizing acts to let your brain know, hey, this is where the end of my leg is now, and that is okay. All right, I'm not gonna say that it's gonna cure your phantom limb pain, but it can definitely help, especially as a double above the knee amputee. Being able to just get up and go and bear weight on the end of your residual limbs is also crucial because you can be more mobile, you can be more functional and regain some independence that way. So that's the why behind why you would want to desensitize your residual limbs. How, how do we go about this? Well, depending on where you're at in your amputation journey, there's a ton of different ways to go about it. And that's why this is especially important for you to talk up to your physical therapist, your surgeon, your prosthetist, whoever it is that is primarily in charge of your amputation care at this point, talk to them and work with them to determine what the best starting point for you to take is. Now, if you're new to this journey, you might consider taking a piece of silk or nylon and just pu pushing and applying some pressure against the end of your residual limb. I think of this just like exercise for the end of your residual limb. You gradually increase the intensity or the amount of time that you're stressing at the end of your residual limb. You grade your exposure to the new stimulus on the end of your residual limb. So that could be starting off with a piece of silk or nylon and just holding it or rubbing it on the end of your leg, all right? And then you work your way up to say a piece of corduroy or something a little bit more tough uh, against the end of your leg. And then say a piece of denim or wool, all right? And it's all about just gradually increasing that intensity. Um, you know, it should be a little bit uncomfortable. It's probably gonna be a little bit painful. Now, if the pain suddenly skyrockets or it's something totally different than what you've experienced before, then you should probably let your doctor, therapist, prosthetist, whoever know about that so that you can work uh, to regress that just a little bit to be able to progress yourself beyond that. So, uh, that all being said, some other desensitization methods, once you get beyond the basic, you know, just starting by pressing fabric against the end of your residual limbs, I would go ahead and just apply pressure using your hands, all right? This is going to help you increase the amount of pressure uh, to the end of your leg here. All you're gonna do is just bear down just a little bit. It doesn't have to be too hard. You can just do that for 20, 30 seconds at a time. Heck, you can start with five or 10 seconds. If that's what's uncomfortable for you, then that's where you start. You just gradually work to increase the amount of time or the intensity with which you're applying that pressure, all right? Beyond that, it's going to be crucial to start bearing some weight on the end of your residual limbs. Now, here's where we're gonna get a little bit complicated with things. 
Let me use my big ugly red chair that I've had it forever in my basement. I've got one of my awesome new couch throw pillows here. And all that I'm gonna do is just kind of press into my chair with a lot of my upper body and just bring myself up to a standing position. All right, so I'm just using my upper body to kind of work my way up into a standing position, but I'm still letting my upper body take the brunt of the weight right here, all right? And you can just work till you're able to stand up there on the end of your residual limbs with that couch cushion there. Um, you can do this sitting on your couch, pull yourself up onto the back of the couch, however you gotta do it, all right? You just wanna work on getting up onto the end of your residual limbs. And a, a, a pillow or a couch cushion is soft enough that it will allow you to, uh, to bear that weight without bearing the full brunt on the end of your residual limbs. As you progress through that, you're going to work to uh, bear more weight on the end of your residual limbs. So eventually you're just gonna work till you start pressing yourself upward into a standing position and just taking the weight off of your hands and standing up on the end of your legs. All right, this is the end goal, to be able to get up and walk on the end of your residual limbs, okay? It's just like exercise, folks. So you start with something that's a little bit simpler, a little bit easy, not as intense, and you work to progress yourself through those. So it can be increasing the intensity, increasing the amount of time, and then increasing the stimulus that you're providing for the end of your residual limbs. So that all being said, I know it's a lot to take in. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you have any comments. Let me know your own experiences with desensitizing the end of your residual limbs. If you've got any other ideas, I would love to hear those below as well. Feel free to shoot me a message with any other questions, comments, concerns. If there's anything else you want to see, just let me know. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. Have a beautiful day. Peace.